Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 10, Part 6, String Builder in Java, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the String Builder in Java. So as we know, String in Java is immutable and how to make it String as mutable? By making use of two important classes, they are String Buffer or String Builder. So in the last session, we understood about the String Buffer class and why it is used to make the string mutable and now in this session we are going to learn the other thing to make a string mutable that is string builder class so string builder also has the respective methods append insert replace delete and reverse okay and as i said you this class is also used to create a mutable string so this is what about uh, the string builder is so let me tell you again why we need to make use of java string builder class it is used to create a mutable string in the sense modifiable string the java string builder class is same as the string buffer class except that it is non synchronized okay except that it is non synchronized so now uh, let's understand some of the methods which are used in the string builder class okay now let me jump into eclipse and let me show you a demo of it so the first class okay we are going to learn about is append so string builder sb is equal to new string builder so I'm getting error here oh, the spelling mistake I'm sorry for that B U I L it's not B U L I sorry for that string builder class so now with this object now I can call the append method where I can attach or append a string to this object so I'll tell like a James or something like hello okay and now next me let me like sp dot append it is Sam so now print ln sb okay now when I run this program it's going to print as hello Sam okay I hope you understood like what we are trying to do here in the sense we are trying to make the string mutable okay now now um, to make a string mutable we made use of the string builder class and the method is append method so when I first I append hello next immediately I'm making use of the append method Sam okay now when I call that SB object it's printing hello Sam but if I don't use the string builder class if I just create a string with the help of string literal or the new keyword what's what gonna happen is it's, it's going to allocate different memory allocation for hello and Sam but when I use SB or that is string builder okay it's going to allocate a single memory and whenever I whenever I add the new things to that object SP it's going to store the uh, the newly added string parts to the same object same memory allocation sorry so this is what about the string builder class is similarly I have the insert method so what I'll do is I'll tell like sp dot insert so insert in the sense I have to tell like at what place I have to insert at the first position I'm going to insert world so now when I run the program you can observe very clearly this is h0 position at one at the first position this word is going to be get inserted world then hello will ELLO will start this is what about the insert method is and we have something called replace so the replace method replaces the given string from the specified begin index and the end index so that we are going to learn right now so here I'm going to tell like sb sp dot replace the start is 1 and it has to end at 3 the string what we are going to pass is demo it's going to replace that part of the string where which lies between the index 1 and 3 by demo so you can observe your h d e m o l o okay this is what the replace method is and delete method so the delete method of a string builder class what it does is it deletes the string from the specified begin index to end index okay so let me show you that also uh, dot delete the start index is 1 and the end index is 3 so let me end up with semicolon again 
it's a problem when I run it's going to print HLO it's going to delete this content from the index 1 till 3 okay and now we have something called reverse so it's very simple the reverse dot it's going to reverse the complete string that's it now when I run the program hello is printed in the reverse manner so these are the methods which are commonly present between the string builder class and the string buffer class and that's what I meant to show in this session and in the last session also we worked the string buffer I repeat both the string builder and string buffer classes they are used to create a mutable string okay and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day